What up, Tube? Good morning. After last night's or yesterday's drama filled vlog, I actually got some sleep, which was surprising because I haven't had much sleep lately. But I ended up, I actually got some decent sleep. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm way down to the unemployment office. Which for those of you that have never been there, let me tell you, that's fun. Real fun. But, because people took advantage of the system back in the day, i.e. people who were off for in the summer, and mowed yards and shit, made like 36 grand a summer, but they also claimed unemployment, got caught. So now, instead of being able to just fill out three jobs every week that you applied for you get assigned a caseworker and your caseworker has to go over jobs with you make sure that you're doing your stuff right and then also you have to go through workshops and I'm talking one of the workshops literally is how to turn a computer on and work a mouse cursor that's not a joke. Um, the first time I went through it, when I got laid off from Nestle back in 2012, I had to go through all that crap. Well, now they let you pick. Um, there was one for Twitter. I guess Twitter's one of the best ways to find jobs now. I had no clue about that. You know, I'm all over social media all the time, so I was kind of surprised about that. But... I signed up for that, that's next week, but hopefully I don't have to because I'm going down today and I spoke with <clears throat> my caseworker last night about the whole job situation that I spoke of yesterday. Ooh, it's slick. And um, we're uh, going to figure out what to do because of that whole deal with Westside Transport being that I've actually got a job opportunity. <clears throat> But, like I said last night, dang, it is really slick. <clears throat> like I said last night, I'm going to look at my other options today. And I did have a call from another company. Um, I can't remember when they called me. But, uh, yeah, I can't remember. But they were one of my top choices coming out of school because they were one of the top companies to work for. <clears throat> and I called him. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I just woke up, so I got a lot of drainage. But I called them, and um, they blew me off. Like, it was really rude, really. <clears throat> Golly. <clears throat> I tickled my throat. So, one of their guys called me the other day after I'd already spoken to Westside, so I really didn't, wasn't interested in calling him back. But I saved his voicemail just in case. And I'm glad I did because now I don't know what's going on with him. So I called him this morning, let the voicemail saying that uh, yeah, I got his voicemail and I was interested in talking to him because they're a really good company too. Um, I don't think they're going to offer the home time that Westside does. Like anybody can offer that home time. I mean, that's just awesome. But, um, you know, I'm not guaranteed a job there. So. I need to have a plan B. So I'm going to go ahead and talk with Dart and see what happens and uh, go from there. Just see what they're about. You know, I think I showed you guys on my first vlog that I had an Excel spreadsheet that I keep all my companies on. And um, I write or I type in all the, you know, the stuff about them, all the questions home time pay all that good stuff one thing I do like about these guys though is they got uh, all 2016 trucks so that's pretty cool so you got new stuff but I don't know about the home time I'll have to ask about it I'm still up in the air about what I'm going to do about uh, about this whole west side transport thing I'll be getting called later today um, from my recruiter who was supposed to call me back last night, never did, and she's supposed to email me some papers to bring in unemployment, she never did. I don't know if they got off at 4.30, if they got off at 5, but 
I know I'm not the only guy they talk to, and I understand that, but, you know, first, uh, first impressions are everything, and they were doing everything good until yesterday, so, I don't know, just frustrating. So anyway, I gotta go down here to the unemployment office, sit with my caseworker. Luckily, this won't be like any other one, because, uh, when you go with your caseworker, let's say I applied to a job at McDonald's just to apply, you know. I didn't, but say you did. And you turn it down because it's not sufficient enough money. It don't matter. You lose your unemployment if you turn down any any work. So I've been legitimately applying to truck jobs and legitimately not getting them because of my medication. So I have nothing to worry about today when I go down there because I haven't had any, you know, false information a lot of people to say they applied to this job and this job and you know, they really didn't they just made a phone call said are you hiring or something like that you know stuff like that like uh, back in the day guys used to call the Delco and G implants all the time you know just so they could get a job on their board so I'm going to talk with her and we got to figure out what to do with my unemployment because like I said last night we don't want to jack it all up just in case I don't have a job because you uh, you put your jobs in every Sunday so I have to wait and see what she's gonna say about that we have to figure it out we go from there so I really don't know what else to expect from her today because it's gonna be a little bit different you know I did fill out my all my necessary paperwork and also the uh, applicator I'm sorry the website it's called torque uh, T-O-R-Q for those of you at home it's pretty cool anybody can do it I believe um, you put in all your work experience that you've ever done talking like anything you've done in the past anything you're doing now I mean I even put in that I manage a band I'm the lead singer you know I put in that I used to do a radio show you know, I have put in my sales of course put in truck driving da 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 well it pulls up a list of jobs that you are qualified for and some of these jobs you would be surprised that you would never ever think of like one of them I was qualified for with with a few certificates because it'll give you like a hundred percent and then it'll go down 99% 97 or 98 97 you know so on and so forth and some of them you know with a few certificates you can get and they'll put you through it for free which is really cool like it'll give you thousands of dollars worth of tuition money to just go get you know certified and whatever it is one of the jobs I qualified for was a kindergarten teacher which I thought was pretty funny you know out of all the stuff I put through I thought it was pretty hilarious um, now I know I wouldn't be able to get that because you know I'd have to go to teaching college but you know stuff like IT stuff like that you know where you just need to go get certificates you know I think you know maybe like 18 month colleges stuff like that but the website's pretty cool like it's just fun to even look at it if you're not looking for a job to see what you would be qualified for, <clears throat> you know, of stuff that you never ever would have thought just because of your work experience and background. So, um, yeah, I've always got that. That's actually one of my plans. If none of this works out, my medication will not allow me to go to any company. My next plan is to go through this uh, thing and have. Um, work one pay for me to go to um, what you would call it uh, school so anyway I'm hoping to get uh, some good news today from one of the companies because you know like I said I did spend a lot of money to go to school and I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut her down right now and then I'll get a hold or I'll get back on and talk to you guys after I leave the unemployment office let you know what's going on and do like my normal deal I'll vlog throughout the day have her uploaded tonight and uh, keep you all posted so we'll talk to you later hey guys just got out of the employment office I actually got out about 10 minutes ago I was only in there about 10 minutes it's pretty nice when you do your stuff like you're supposed to and you're you know you're doing your uh, due diligence to find a job and you're you actually have a legitimate reason you're not getting the job so I'm not like some of them people are going in there some people making shit up because they didn't want this or that so I was it actually took me longer to wait on 
my caseworker to come outside and get me than it did for her to uh, talk to me back there. I got a really cool caseworker though, so that's really nice. She's gonna um, put a hold on my, or not a put a hold. Uh, she's not gonna put down anything yet because it could screw up my employment. So if I do go up to Grand Rapids this weekend and Monday I pass my physical, then I just need to email her and then she'll, you know, put that I found a job, which is really cool. Cause if she put that I already had a job scheduled, which technically I don't, so she's not really lying cause I don't know if I'm going or not. Um, it would screw up my employment. So that was really cool of her. And then we went through a couple other things and she asked me some stuff about you know what I did and what I'm doing and uh, what kind of CDL I had and stuff because she's going to help look for some leads for me too which is pretty nice so um, I'm going to go home right now and get back online and start looking for some other stuff it's funny you know when you start searching things you probably notice this on your Facebook if whatever you're searching for uh, you start getting this adware on your um, Facebook like you'll see ads pop up like back when I was buying guitars and music equipment and stuff like that from a band I was always getting you know, ads from American Musical uh, Supply and Sam uh, Ash and stuff like that well now every single ad that you know pop which they're not really ads they're just kind of like posts probably know what I'm talking about but every single one of them is a trucking company ad and it's pretty nice because you get really wore out because when you go through the search engines you always see the same companies you don't ever see anything new all these ones on the that are coming across Facebook are stuff that I've never even seen before so uh, I got some other possibilities out there to take a look at and hopefully uh, find out one of them like I said I called one this morning and see what they're all about but you feel like a broken record because you go through the same spiel I'm on this medicine you guys accept it and then I have a 27 question there that I ask him you know do you guys have this do you do this do you do this what's your home time what's your pay do you guys have tuition reimbursement do you guys have APU units what kind of tractors do you use blah 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 blah, blah. where do you run you know so it kind of gets old repeating yourself but you know nature of the beast I guess but anyway I'm on my way home from there thank God because I hate being in there because it makes you just feel like you're a piece of crap even though you're in there for a different reason you just nobody likes to go to the unemployment office you know it just it's not where you want to be you don't want to be on unemployment luckily I got unemployment I'm not complaining about it you know I mean, I voluntarily quit my job, but because it was due to medical reasons and I went to school, they granted my unemployment, so I can't really bitch about it. It just sucks that I have to go there because, you know, like I told you guys earlier, people take advantage of it. And next thing you know, one bad apple ru ruins the whole bunch and you gotta go through all these steps and all this stuff, so. Anyway, that's what that is. and glad that I got that over with. I can't believe how quickly I got in and out of there, man. That was crazy. My car was still warm when I got back in it. That was nice. So, go home, figure out what to do, finish up some vlogs, and uh, talk to you guys about some stuff here when I find out some more information later. Catch you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm waiting on an email from Westside Transport for the orientation to make sure I go next week. I decided to go ahead and go with it. And take my chances because I've been looking and there's just nowhere that compares to them. Pay, home time, all that stuff I've talked about. So uh, I spoke my, or I'm sorry, I talked to my recruiter on my email a few minutes ago. She's supposed to be sending me all the details for orientation and everything. So right now I'm just waiting on that email to come through. Once that email comes through, I'm going to read through it, see what I got to do. But I think I'm going to go ahead and rent a car and uh, drive over there because I don't want Stephanie to drive back. Um, I got a pretty good feeling that I'm going to get the job, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, you know, I've got that note, and the doctor um, said as long as I had that, you know, I should be good. And then my blood pressure's down. I made sure it was good. So right now I'm just waiting on an email. Since I get the email, I'll get back with you guys and let you know what's going on. Also, I've been messing around with my YouTube channel, um, trying to... 
do stuff to make more uh, content and to add more likes to it. Um, especially me being great and got on the road. It's really fun to document and stuff. So I've got some new tools that I, uh, extensions you can add on Google to, uh, uh, you can kind of rank um, certain tags on your videos and stuff. So I've been doing that so I can get more searches and, and plus West side doesn't have anything. So I've been trying to make sure that I become that trucking company's number one vlogger. And right now I'm number three. So it's not too far to go cause it's not too many there. Um, but it's been pretty fun. So don't forget if you do go to my page, if you are watching this on Facebook or something, Go ahead and click on subscribe for me if you would. It would really help out because the more subscribing I get, the more my videos climb up and the more it helps me out on the YouTube channel. So I appreciate everybody who's watched and the uh, messages that I've got. And um, like I said, I'll get back to you as soon as I get my email from uh, my recruiter and see what go what she says and uh, just keep you updated. So talk to you guys here in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, it's official. I just got my paperwork from Westside for my orientation has all my notes and everything in there that I need, uh, including my pay and all the breakdown of everything. Um, so I'm pretty much ready to go. They have me starting on um, Monday the 16th, I believe. Yeah, Monday the 16th. They confirmed that they have a non-smoking trainer for me for when I get done Wednesday to go out with. So I got to go do some shopping, get some things ready. Get some. Uh, I got to get some stuff for a twin-size mattress. And uh, need a new pair of boots and some other stuff, but um, got to rent the car and get ready, and uh, I'll be heading that way. So that'll do it for today, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.